Coach K says that when you first start the game, you look at that chess piece as you, you are the king on that board. I got this tattoo approximately a year ago. I got a, the king piece and my girl got a queen piece. Technically, I don't really play unless I come to jail. That's the only time I've really been playing a lot. My name is Elwood Dawson. I'm from Chicago. I'm Sika Blackman. My name is Roberto Beza, Jr. And what I want to share is I love tacos. Tacos and chess. So yeah. With the chess program, really, even chess in general, like on the deck, you, uh, you kind of lose yourself. You don't really think about your case. You learn to think differently. You know, you strategize more. I sometimes come out uh, 7.30 in the morning, I'll probably play until lockup, you know, so it makes my day go by faster. It's competitive, it's a lot of trash talk, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, like the chess players, we got our own little circle, and all of us play each other, we talk trash about who be who, who garbage. Yeah, I never play that dude again, he garbage, I never play him. But yeah, it's real competitive. All right, gentlemen, you can have a seat randomly right now, then it'll start moving a little bit. That's all? Hello, JB. Where, where is Mr. Bell? What? Where is JB? He did it on purpose. I, I knew it. All right. So, the first game was played in 1620. Yeah, you know, a few years ago. My name is Mikhail Korinman. I am uh, currently employed by Cook County Sheriff's Office. I strongly believe that chess helped everyone to feel I am the winner right now. I, I won it, I did it. I did it by myself. I did it without any bribery, any help. And I am the winner. Develop the pieces, go to the center, don't dispose your king. Okay. But that was played in 1620. Okay, let's look what happens in 2004. At first it was hard. Uh, it took me a long time to win my first game and then I was about to quit so many times. And I actually won my first game and that felt good and just kept going from there. Coach K is actually, he's a pretty cool teacher. You know, he's very experienced. He could play without even looking at the board. You know, that's what really amazed me a lot. I learned a lot from him. I learned that chess is bigger. I thought it was just like a regular game at first, but he said he went to all these different countries and played chess and I'm like, what? He just came from over overseas playing chess. He talked trash. I did not know it because he owed him like, our first time meeting him, he playing, he playing us and he talking trash. I'm like, what, this old man? <laughs> Yeah, he still talk trash. Oh yeah, he actually had one game won against me. That's why he's putting it so hard to get a documentary that he can win. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can. He can. <laughs> he did. He he even gave me a check. I got a feeling. You got a feeling. <laughs> Chess help you open up your mind and get your mind to a whole nother different level. <laughs> you want to develop in life. You want to open up your mind so you, other people can see you. Yeah. Be that leadership. Look, you took this pawn? Yeah. Why didn't you take this pawn? You cannot move this pawn. 
Dr. Cornyn and I got to be friends uh, years ago because why? He was the individual that, no connection to me whatsoever, he was working for the Chicago public school system, um, not as an employee of theirs, but as a contractor who would teach chess at different locations. Well, he ended up teaching chess at my son's grade school. The sheriff said, oh, I'd like to have this program in my organization. And I said, sure, when do you want to start? And he said, what do you mean when? Tomorrow. I had no idea that this program will go for 10 years as of now and will be involved thousands of inmates. Four, five, six white pawns stays on the white squares. We do have one female division in our jail. I just started the project there um, two months ago. I don't understand. <laughs> the, kid, the kid cannot come here. I don't understand. No, no, it's good. It's a lot of women here who never played it. That's in the program, but they're learning a lot and they actually like it. At first they thought it was boring and they just wanted to see what it was like. Yes. If they give us a chance to play with the men, I most definitely would. Right, yeah. They need to, I, I'm gonna ask them, can you set something up? there's always this conflating of prisons and jails as one of the same. And it, it's not just something where um, you're technically wrong, and I'll correct you, it's, no, their purposes are completely different. A jail is where people go to wait their trial. Uh, prisons, on the other hand, are where you go to serve a sentence. Uh, whereas in a jail, you're waiting on a trial, and that could be months, it could be years. And so as a result of it, operating in jail is much more complex. Jail population is constantly moving. So our chess team is very, you know, very open group. The majority of people that were being held in the jail went straight from the jail back to the community. The notion was is that because you're just a temporary holding place, that there's no real reason to do any programming or anything like that because they're all going to go from your jail down to the prison and that couldn't be any further from the truth. The vast majority went to the community and so for me it was more than that. It was always going to be more than that. It was trying to give people not just the skills in this really interesting game but so that the way they think changed too. Uh, he just beat me, man. We just played like three games. He up two games, man, right now. Um, it's a four to one streak my way. Uh, we haven't played possibly in probably about a week, but he enjoys playing chess too. Me and him actually learned around the same time, and you know, it's been fun watching him grow. He's early on, he'll trade his queen off too. He doesn't mind losing his queen, but he uses his horses more. I'd be, I'm a little mad if you take my horses, because they, they the deadliest piece on the board. Everybody think it's the queen, but it's the horse, because you can't defend it. Got it, uh, some chess boards over there, chess clocks over here. I'm old. You're old, then. All right. Now, you want to like white, black? Chess is everybody said all the time. It's a lot like life. You got to be patient. You got to stay focused. You just got to be aware. I just learned to, you know, be careful and you have to make sacrifices in order to get where you want to go. You just can't, you know, have one option. There's always a lot of options. One research was presented at the University of Texas in Dallas. A number of years ago, it was presented by Brazilian team. General in the country of Brazil, it's 72%, 72% of the prison population at some point of time getting back to the prison. The research which the Brazilian team presented showed that if prisoners stay with chess for at least one year, this rate drops to 48%, from 72 to 48, with chess. All right. 
Yeah, he got it. He got it. I can't, I can't go back. I'll be back, though. Could y'all be back? Yeah. Good job. We'll be I will see you all next week. All right, see you in a, in a, in a week. <laughs> Mr. Squad, behave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For someone who maybe does not know chess that well, would not see how clearly this fits on so many levels. As I say, whether it's transforming an individual's way that they think to how this opens up avenues for interactions within a family that in many cases the interactions had never been there in the first place. Um, okay, we're ready for a small press conference. It is something that has never happened anywhere in the world before. To have correctional facilities all around the world playing at once in a chess tournament. I am mean, very proud to participate in this tremendous event. It will be an honor for us to be part of any of your future undertakings. Last year, we organized the first international um, intercontinental online championship for, for, for prisoners. It was 31 countries participating, 40 teams, five female teams. I know without name in the country, that some maximum security facilities where prisoners could not be more than one in a room. Before I met him, I would never like that people do that. I think, yeah, it's chess competitions, but all over the world, online, throughout the jails, playing against each other, that's a whole different thing. Like, he opened that up. There was a incredible level of anxiousness that was neat, that reminded you of how athletes would be before the big game, before the kickoff. But actually, you know, this tournament is, of course, the flagship event for the whole movement that we uh, want to expand for training these uh, people for uh, carrying out research. Nobody could even believe that Zimbabwe and Mongolia will play a final round ahead Mongolia won the championship. I love Dr. Cornerman and don't know what I'd do without him. I mean, people often underestimate individuals, you know, in the sense of that person has made these changes happen, um, and but for that person these things wouldn't happen. That's him. I had an opportunity to go to New York City and stop by one or two, I named them chess rooms, and they were packed. 11 p.m., midnight, those rooms were packed with people. I think that is absolutely fantastic. The city of Chicago don't have it. <laughs> Uh, it's said, we know, well, I know that Bobby Fischer was born in Chicago, even he grew up in New York, but still, the city of Chicago should have more. Dr. Corman's vision for quite some time now, and I bought into it immediately, was to try to figure a, um, a method to come up with a chess center, for lack of a better word, on the outside of the jail. So for all the different people that we've engaged over the course of the years, and many of them we keep in contact one way or another with, um, would to have a location where they can go to on a regular basis. Yeah, I want to teach my kids how to play. My, my sons, I got three sons, I want to teach them how to play. I, I do want to get my daughters into the, to the chess clubs. I know like at my daughter's school they got a chess club and she wanted to join too just to learn. So that's something I'll probably be pursuing. Happy birthday to me. I'm 24, my Kobe year. Um, and unfortunately, I'm in this circumstance, but I'm gonna make it through. I won't be here next year, for sure. So yeah. Good job. All right. Good job. Yeah.